Good morning, everybody. So there's some good news today. Uh, something I talked about before is this very, very inappropriate show for five-year-old children and above, which is called the Family SEX Show, which was going to be appearing in Bath and Bristol and Norwich later this month and next month. It seems the show has been cancelled. Um, I've seen various things on social media about it, and it seems to have been removed entirely from the website of the theatre in Norwich that was going to show it, although it still appears on the websites of the theatres in Bath and Bristol. I think that's because the decision was made late Sunday. Uh, it's Monday morning now, so they haven't had a chance to actually get in and remove it. But it has also uh, been removed from the website of the actual theatre production company, which is called This Egg, based in Cambridge, and receives public money from the Arts Council of England and also the National Lottery Fund. What they're doing funding this, uh, I have no idea. This shouldn't be happening uh, in a country that wants to protect children and safeguard our children. The safeguarding uh, has not worked in this case. Um, I've seen this uh, message. I'll just read a little bit of it to you. This is what was put out by the theatre in Norwich. The decision has been taken to cancel the national tour of This Egg's The Family Sex Show. Um, it's a theatre show that opens up conversations around relations, relationships offering safe and positive learning to children, young people and guardians about bodies and relationships, advised by safeguarding and educational specialists, etc, etc. In recent days, there's been an unacceptable threat and abuse directed at both the company and the venues hosting the production by a small minority, and in order to ensure the safety of the performers, staff and audiences, the show will no longer play as planned at the current time. So that's the um, statement that's been put out. It's seemingly uh, copied from the Garage Theatre in Norwich. No mention there whatsoever about uh, how inappropriate it is for children uh, as it's targeted uh, as to children from five years old and upwards. Um, but this is good. This is really good news that people have spoken out about this. There was the original tweet um, there by this, this young woman, Fleur Meston in Bristol. Uh, I helped to amplify that. Other people amplified it. And it actually got into the Daily Mail. And there's been um, Citizen Go uh, run by Caroline Farrow who uh, made the petition against this, now signed by over 40,000 people. So this is really good that, uh, you know, uh, all of you, uh, uh, most of you watching this, I imagine, uh, are concerned and took action and spoke out, whether it's saying something on social media, signing the petition, writing to the theatres uh, involved, writing to the Arts Council, not that they would do much, um, you know, because they're run by sort of woke lovies, uh, I imagine. Um, but we, we've pushed back, and that is really good. Thank goodness we have. You know, a country that would allow this to go on really is got a question itself um you know the the fact that this would happen in the first place is uh, very very questionable you know it's a sign of where we are uh as a society that is pretty sick but the hope in that is that there are still good people who are standing up for good um traditional values uh, and one of those is to protect uh your kids from perverted perverse degenerate content um, you know, what you do as an adult is your business. I wouldn't recommend it, but you don't do this to kids. You don't expose kids to this kind of stuff. Um, so very good news. The thing is that this is way, way more widespread than just one theatre company and three tour dates in uh, a few theatres in various towns. You've got this going on in thousands of schools with the comprehensive sexuality education program that's branded relationships and sex education in England. Um, you know, this, this theatre show had a, a, a sex dictionary thing that they, they you know, described things <laughs> I've never heard of. Like a new word for me, um, pegging, 
I, I've never ever heard of that word. I'm 51 years old. Apparently, it's in their their sort of promotional material. I looked it up. It's like what what you know. I'm not going to say what it is, but you know, no one who's an adult should be discussing these things with anyone under the age of 16. It's completely, um, you know, that's black and white. You just don't do it. But yet in schools, there are materials uh, with learning courses for the relationships and sex education that describe things that are way, way more explicit even than that. I've seen them. There's the, There was the... Um, there was a big furore um, a couple of years ago about this program called All About Me that was approved by fake conservative Warwickshire uh, County Council Local Education Authority uh, for schools in Warwickshire. And it was pulled uh, again after people made uh, a big complaint. And uh, again, that got into the, the mainstream national press. It, it, it's such a big issue. But this is still going on in schools all around the country. And, um, you know, God bless you parents who are standing up in your individual schools and insisting that you see uh, what materials they're giving to kids uh, with this subject. Because they the government has taken away parents' rights to... Um, remove your children from this kind of, of subject, uh, whereas before you had the right to remove your children from um, sex education, apart from, of course, the biological facts uh, about reproduction, which everybody needs to, to learn at an appropriate age, you know, in, in lower secondary school. Um, so certainly not primary school, though, and certainly uh, a lot of the very, very material that's way, way more explicit than just talking about reproduction uh, to 12, 13 year olds is going to four and five year olds. This needs to stop, okay? Uh, and so I'm not going to carry on. I'm gonna, not going to stop here. I'm happy that this um, this theatre uh, show looks to have been cancelled. I think later on, uh, hopefully, it will be removed from the websites of the theatres in Bath and Bristol as well. Um, but this is still going on in schools. And, and I know the, in Wales, there's a big issue now because they're trying to introduce this in Wales um for next september uh so so that's going in there as well as it's already in england and scotland um so uh we need to continue the fight uh for this um we in the heritage party provide the only political resistance against this you know you're not going to find any other political parties speaking out against this apart from you know there's a couple of smaller specifically religious parties that will do but we're the only sort of UK-wide uh, party that is against this indecency uh, in the UK. So, you know, I've been speaking about this from before I even founded the Heritage Party for many, many years. So please do get active uh, politically as well. Come and join me and stand uh, to be a candidate, um, either in the local elections uh, or the national elections, which will be coming up uh, probably in a couple of years. Um, because if we don't make a stand politically as well as socially and culturally, then other people are going to continue uh, to get the positions at M MPs and councillors, and they're going to just continue with the progressive programme. And we have to put a halt to that and restore decency, sanity and common sense to our nation. Um, so please do consider that. Come and join me. As always, the link is below to join uh, the Heritage Party. And please also do subscribe uh, to my channel as well. That helps me um, to uh, get the message out and, and for these videos to be more uh, widely seen. Okay, thank you for listening. Thank you for fighting back, everybody. Um, uh, let's continue to do that. God bless you all.